If you're in Melbourne, I hope you've been able to enjoy some of this absolutely glorious day. Absolutely stunning. I was lucky enough to be able to sit by the beach for 20 minutes. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I've just been, ever since I've heard this stuff from Oz Harvest about how food waste is the biggest contributor to greenhouse gases on the planet, I've been working out, well, how can I use everything up and not put stuff in the, um, I mean, compost is okay, but if you just put it straight into a, um, a bin and it ends up in landfill, it's a disaster. Okay, methane. I don't know, methane factory. So I've um cooking a some muffins here. These are magic muffins by Noni Jenkins. She's thermofit. And I love them because there's a whole stuff, there's banana in there, there's um zucchini in there, there's carrot in there. So all sorts of things that might be there looking a little lonely in your fridge and a little bit sad, but you can use them up in, in these muffins. So absolutely awesome. Also gluten free. I have preheated the oven to um, 170. Making sure my volume's up. It is awesome. And um, I have also, oh, tell me to do that, didn't it? Uh, 150 grams of buckwheat gross, 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 gross. So I actually have some buckwheat flour, so I'm not going to do that, but super easy on the TM6. Flick through, that's done. Transfer to a bowl and set aside. Now, I have 10 pitted medial dates, all right? I have done it with the other sort of dates, but medial dates have a particularly caramelizing sort of um, taste to them. I love them. So just chopping all those up. Okay, all chopped up. All right, tearing my scales, about 75 grams of carrots. Okay, now the peel from that, all washed, and that's going into stock paste, okay? So no waste from the carrots. The zucchini, approximately 100 to 130 grams. Again, the end, the all washed, and um, the end is going into the stock paste. Chopping all that two seconds, speed five. <laughs> so banana, let me just show you. So that's all there. Um, banana, tearing that. I've got, um, there's a bit more than one. Okay. Walnuts, we use pecans in this house, they're going in. And optional, but why not? Two eggs, free range eggs in there. 50 grams of milk of choice. We've actually uh, got a house guest off and on for the next couple of weeks, so I actually bought some milk. Um, you could use any type of milk. Usually, I would say I would use almond milk, but this is um, this is what I've got. Didn't have to make any almond milk, so why not, why not use that? All right, two teaspoons of vanilla bean paste. Uh -oh. this is good. It's a bit sticky, this one. This is made in the Thermomix, okay? It's just um, vanilla bean. Actually, before that, I've got a couple of other things to do. I'm just going to go on here. Two teaspoons. I'm going to come back because then I've got a dry spoon, okay? Two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. One, two. Have a little trip to the sauce, see? Uh, and then I've got, I'll do that, come back to that. One teaspoon of baking powder. So I'm just doing those before I get the spoon wet, so to speak, with the... Um, with the vanilla bean paste. So I'm now going to go back, back, two teaspoons of vanilla bean paste. Okay. One, to make a bit more of this, two, two. It's just awesome. So, 
so good that you can make your own. You know what you're putting into your body. Um, no surprises. 50 grams of coconut oil, oil, which I've got here. Down the baking powder. 120 uh, grams of dark chocolate chips. Now, I always put these in. A little bit of chocolate, I think, is nice. Um, some people don't put them in at all. Oh, and I just have, happen to have just a few extra. Buckwheat flour, that's going in. So I think I've got everything. Measuring cup in place. 25 seconds reverse, because we don't want to chop those um, chalk bits up or any of the other things. It's all been chopped as we want it. Uh, speed four. <laughs> Got everything tidied away. All right. So let's pour it into 12 uh, whole muffin tins. Now, there it is. Awesome. Uh, and I always do mini muffins. So I have my tray ready to go here um, with my mini muffin things on. And I just need my favourite spatula. So I'm just putting... A little bit of this mixture into each one and it says bake for 20 minutes so um they probably will take it just a little bit less because it's smaller than a full size muffin but these are awesome got kids you want to um you can blitz the veggies up smaller if you want to um they'll love love it when they come across the chop bits it's banana, it's all natural sweetness. So um, we just got the banana and the dates. And I guess carrot can be a little bit sweet as well. Um, no honey, no sugar, no nothing. Oh, chocolate bits. Obviously, they're going to add a little bit as well. So I'm just going to keep going with these. And then I'm going to bake them for 15 to 20 minutes. I'll, I'll check how they're looking. Uh, but you don't need to see me fill another tray. And I'll post a picture up um, when I finish this. Cool.